APTDPMLC Ashok Babu said that seven cases have been registered for minor offences in the history of CID. He said CID officials had inquired into the strike and talked less about the case against him. He wants to stop partisan actions against him. He said he had no role in the union strike and would support them if asked. He warned that the government would disappear if it caused harm to employees. It is learned that Ashok Babu was arrested by the CID police on Thursday midnight on charges of misrepresenting his qualifications for promotion while in government service. He was released on bail on Friday night, February 11, 2022. He was granted bail by the second ACMM court with two sureties and a deposit of 40,000 rupees. Bail was granted after a 14-day remand. Speaking to media on the occasion, Ashok Babu said that he was getting bail. Ashok Babu's lawyer said that justice has won and the government will stand in the courts where false cases have been filed. The court noted that the case was filed under Section 468 which was not relevant to avoid Section 41 consideration. Non-bailable sections have been added to the case filed earlier. Meher Kumar had complained to the Lokayukt that he had submitted fake BCom certificates. The Lokayukt, which has received a report from the Commercial Taxes Department, has ordered a thorough investigation. As part of this, the Commissioner of Commercial Taxes recently lodged a complaint against Ashok Babu with the CID and a case was registered under various sections on the 25th of last month. CID police said in a notice that Ashok Babu was arrested in the middle of the night. With this, the CID police went to Ashok Babu's house in Vijayawada on February 10, 2022 at midnight and posted midnight notices. Ashok Babu was later arrested by the CID police. CID police have arrested MLC Ashok Babu on charges of misrepresenting his qualifications for promotion while in government service. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.